continue to ignore science, then we can ignore the reality of rising oceans, of the spread of new diseases, of more serious fires, of drought and floods in Calgary and Toronto. After the very unusual flood in Calgary, the Prime Minister's wife was filmed helping the flood victims and turned to camera and said, oh, we Calgarians, we're tough. There are floods here all the time, you know, we're used to this. Duh! If there are floods all the time, why don't you do something to stop it, for Christ's sake? And maybe climate change has got something to do with it. Canada, Canada, of all industrialized countries, is the most vulnerable country to the consequences of climate change. We have the longest marine coastline of any country in the world. And when water warms, it expands. Thermal expansion of the oceans alone is going to cause our shores to, uh, to increase in, in size. There are huge economic consequences of that. We are a country in which we are a northern country and we know from Inuit people for over 20 years that the Arctic is changing because of climate change. And do you think our economy doesn't depend on climate sensitive areas like agriculture, forestry, fisheries? sports, winter sports, or ecotourism, for God's sakes. Anybody who cares about the economy is being irresponsible in ignoring the consequences of climate change. I believe that the muzzling of science represents a government that is willfully blind. And in our culture, you can throw people into jail if they occupy positions of power and they decide to ignore areas or information they should know about. I accuse our government of willful blindness and we ought to think about that. But more importantly, more importantly, I accuse our government of, of a crime against future generations. There is an intergenerational crime going on. So I say to Canadians, take back our government. Let's have more democracy. Get the hell out there and vote. Thank you, David. I think the roof just blew off the Environment Canada building down the street. I'd like to invite, sorry, invite Finn Donnelly, who is a member of Parliament.